live from the local station. News 4 Jax starts now. A local rapper accused of two different murders just appeared in court a few hours ago. Now on upgraded charges, this video is of Hakeem Robinson known as Queso at his first appearance before a judge. He was already in jail on two second degree murder charges. Now a grand jury just indicted him on his first degree murder charge. Sky 4 is live right now over the Duval County Jail where he's been locked up. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Corley Peel has been following this case from the beginning. She's joining us live outside JSO headquarters downtown. So Corley, why the upgraded charges? Joy, that's unclear. The state attorney's office says they can't say why they were able to charge Hakeem Robinson with first degree murder because this is an active and ongoing investigation still. And I spoke with the mother of one of the victims that Robinson is accused of killing and she tells me she is relieved about these charges. Hakeem Robinson was quiet as he stood in front of a judge on Friday. So you're on charge of uh, murder premeditated in the first degree. Bond said at none. The judge tells him his two separate second degree murder charges are now upgraded to first degree murder. Good luck to you, sir. Yes, sir. Robinson, known as rapper Queso, is accused of shooting and killing 16 year old Adrian Gaynor in 2019. He references Gaynor by his nickname, Bibby, in his viral rap videos. And you know we smoke little Bibby. Gaynor's mother, Elizabeth, says Robinson's upgraded charge is a sign of hope. It's a relief because I was terrified the entire time, but it's a relief now. And now I got more faith in the court system. Robinson is also charged in the 2020 death of Charles McCormick. Robinson's brother, yes, Abdul sir. Robinson Jr. and Leroy Whitaker are now also charged with first degree murder in McCormick's death. They also appeared in court this afternoon. JSO says all three men have ties to the violent gang ATK. In the McCormick case, Robinson's attorneys say he does not fit the description of the shooter seen in this picture. His attorneys sent news for Jack's statement following his new charges, saying the government can invite defendants to appear before the grand jury. Mr. Robinson, however, wasn't invited because the government knows that had he walked into the room, the grand jurors would have quickly realized Mr. Robinson cannot be the small statured shooter in the video. I just can't wait till this trial is over with so we can finally start to heal because none of us are healed. Yet. None of us have begun healing yet. Gaynor says she is hopeful she will get justice for her son. Before Robinson's charges were upgraded, he did have a $4 million bond. The judge said today that he is being held without bond. If convicted, Robinson could face up to life in prison. Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.